What are spiritual gifts in the Bible? Do you think that you have any of these gifts? And how can you figure it out? Well, that's what we're going to talk about in today's confirmation video, so stick around. Welcome back, Confirmands. Good to be with you today as we continue to explore what it means to be Lutheran. And as always, you're going to need to have with you uh, your Bible. Also, don't forget your catechism or a pen or a pencil and some papers so that you can jot down your notes and questions and bring those to class on Sunday. Now, we've been talking about the way that God works in the world. And in, in our last video, we talked about how God calls us to serve him in everything that we do, whether it's a job that we have or whether it's just a role that we have, like as a teammate or a member of a choir or even as a son or a daughter, God promises that he is going to work through us in those various callings, those different roles that we have. But we're going to talk about something kind of unique, kind of special today too, and that is going to be spiritual gifts, and we're going to get into that in just a second. But first, let's begin by remembering that we are all baptized and beloved children of God in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So today we're going to talk about spiritual gifts, and it's talked about just a few times here, in, especially in the New Testament. And as we look through those passages of Scripture, and we're going to get into those passages of Scripture more on Sunday, but I wanted to just highlight a few things that we learn from Scripture about those spiritual gifts. And first off, it's this. We call them spiritual gifts because they are, in fact, gifts of the Holy Spirit. So that word gifts implies that there's nothing that we do to deserve them. They're given to us freely by God, by his grace, right? And they're freely given by the Holy Spirit in our baptism. That's why we call, call them spiritual, because they're given by the, the Spirit, right? So we first off remember that these are gifts of the Holy Spirit. Now, here's another really important thing to remember. Not every Christian is going to have all of these gifts. You might have some of these gifts that we're going to go through in a little bit, but you're not going to have all of them. God has made each one of us unique and different with different personalities and, and unique personalities. So as we go through these gifts here in just a little bit, start to think about which one do you see in your life, which one fits you. Now, here's the last thing to remember about these spiritual gifts that we're going to talk about. They are given to us to build up the church. Okay? These gifts are not given to us to just make us feel good. They're not given to us to, you know, make us successful in whatever we choose to do. No, these gifts are given to build up the church, to help other people, right? And to proclaim Christ to the world. It's a really important thing to remember. These gifts are not given to us to be used selfishly, but for God and for others. All right. So, we're going to go through a lot of these spiritual gifts here in just a little bit. And so what I want you to do as we go through this list is to think about this question. Which ones, which one of these gifts do you think that you have? And there's going to be 15 of these, okay? So I don't expect you to write all of them down. But as I go through this list, I want you to think about whether or not you might have this gift and how you see it in your life. All right, so let's get into it. Let's get into the spiritual gifts that, that scripture talks about. Ready? So here's the big list, and we're going to walk through each one of these. So the first one there is prophecy. And the, prop, and the gift of prophecy means that you, you speak the word of God, and you speak that word effectively, and you are able to, to read and interpret scripture. So prophecy, all right? The other one is serving, that gift of seeing needs in others and responding uh, to the needs of others. That's a, a good gift. Uh, what we've got one here, encouragement, and that's the gift of standing alongside fellow Christians and offering them strength and comfort. You might think of somebody who's been encouraging to you. Or there's the gift of giving, of being generous with what you have, of you know, just not thinking of yourself, but thinking about what others need and being very generous with, with what you have. There's also the gift of leadership. I think we kind of know what leadership is, right? That's the gift of motivating, inspiring, or, or directing others, or, or delegating work uh, that needs to be done. Or how about you know, showing mercy, that gift of devoting time and energy uh, to being compassionate and caring for other people. Then there's the gift of wisdom, 
That is the, the gift of understanding God's will and applying it to your life in, in really practical ways. Wisdom is not just, you know, can you remember names and dates? Wisdom is being able to apply things to your life in very practical ways. And then there is knowledge. Knowledge is that, again, kind of that, that's more of that, that head smart kind of thing, being able to remember uh, having the ability to solve problems, things like that, knowledge. Then there's the gift of faith. Now, all of us have faith, right? But the faith as a spiritual gift is, especially, you know, in times when somebody might be uh, making fun of the Christian faith, you know, are you able to persevere in that? Or if you have really bad things happen to you that might make you question your faith, are you able to persevere? A really strong faith that holds up in times of trial and suffering. And there are many Christians who are, have that special gift of that, of that kind of faith. We also have discernment, and discernment is kind of that ability to, to distinguish between what is God's will and, and what's not. Or hospitality. Hospitality is just being able to welcome people and making them feel comfortable. You also have evangelist. Evangelist is somebody who tells others about Jesus and is real confident and comfortable doing that. Or the the gift of just helping, you know, bearing one another's burdens uh, so that they can uh, maybe do what they need to do more effectively. And then there's last administration. You know, are you uh, really organized so you can make sure that the church is able to carry out its its mission? So there's a lot of different gifts here. There's 15. In fact, I left one off. One is teaching, that ability to communicate uh, God's word with other people. There's 15 of these gifts. That's pretty that's pretty awesome. There's a lot of them. So what I want you to do is think about which one of these applies to you. And Mr. Pike in class is going to go through an exercise to kind of help us think through that question. But in the meantime, here's three really important questions that you can think about as you think about spiritual gifts. You know, which gifts do you think that you have and why? What gifts do other people see in you? That's always an important thing. Ask your mom or your dad or uh, ask a grandparent or uh, your aunt or uncle or maybe your friends, which gifts do you do they see in you? And here's another question that we might not think about right away, but what do we like to do? Some people just really like learning. Some people you know, really like being generous. Well, that might be a good indication that the Holy Spirit is at work in you and helping you serve in that way. So think about those three questions as you get ready for class on Sunday. And as Mr. Pike's going to go through all this in more detail. All right, but let's close with a blessing. May the Almighty and merciful Lord, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit bless you now and forever. Amen. Take care. See you next time, guys.